hello everybody and welcome back to my channel uh, so today what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be showing you how I do my brows uh, pretty much I just have a routine down uh, just fill them in with powder carve them with concealer and then on the top I use like my foundation uh, to carve the top so that way it matches my skin um, on my forehead with my under eye I mean with my under my brow um, I use my concealer because I end up putting concealer on my lids anyways for to prime my um, my shadow so yeah but that's all I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my brows every time I do my makeup uh, brows definitely they take the longest for me to do in my makeup it takes longer than my eyeshadow it takes longer than doing foundation it takes longer than contouring my face lip Maybe not as long as putting on my lashes. I'd say they're about the same just because with lashes you gotta wait for the glue to dry and everything. But my brows, it took a long time for me to get my brows the way that I like them. Um, I got my brows threaded and I, I usually get my brows threaded. But I got them threaded right before quarantine started. Um, and I've been trying my hardest to keep up with it by shaving them um, and tweezing them. In areas that need to be tweezed but yeah without further ado um, I don't think I have anything else to say except if you want to see how I do my brows and then just keep watching <laughs> you guys so the first thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be going in with this eyebrow razor right here more like a shaver uh, you can get these at sally's or ulta and i just kind of clean up my brow hairs i don't do my makeup every day so my hairs kind of grow kind of fast um and then i just kind of make sure that everything's cleaned up and nice and cut and then whatever i can't reach with this razor i go in with a tweezer and just kind of tweeze the hairs that need to be tweeze that I can't reach with that razor after that um, I use a spoolie and I kind of just brush up the fronts of my hairs um, so that way I can get ready to cut the excess be very careful with this step I use these small makeup cosmetic scissors and I just snip the tops of the hairs try not to do too much because you know once you cut off too much there's really nothing you can do at that point but fill them in and then once you kind of have uh, your brows the way that you want them, um, from there I just do my foundation. So let me do that really quick. There we go. Um, I always do my foundation first and then I go in with this MAC Espresso Eyeshadow and an angled brush that has a spoolie on the end. Um, and the first thing I do is I kind of just carve out the bottom of my brow, uh, kind of like at the laying down like a foundation. Um, that's going to show me and let me know how thick I want my brow to be and then I just kind of work from there. I'm constantly going back in with the spoolie just to make sure that there's no harsh lines um, just to blend it in with my natural hairs but um, if it's messy at first that's fine we're going to go in with concealer and foundation and we're going to carve the brows out anyway. <music> So next I'm going to go in with this Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in the shade 5. Uh, what I use this for is the tail ends of my brows. Um, just so that way I can kind of make them a little bit longer and kind of make them a little bit more sharp. Um, I don't want them too sharp because I want them to look a little natural. But I perfect that and blend it in. And then I also go in the front of my brows to do hair like strokes going upward. Um, to try and make it look, you know, a little more natural. Then I go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and a flat little foundation brush and I just kind of carve out the bottom of my brows. Um, this will help hide any hairs that you have um, if you didn't have time to tweeze or anything like that. But it also sharpens up the bottom of the brow so it looks a little bit more clean and crisp. <laughs> Now 
Next, I'm gonna go in with the foundation that I used for my face to carve out the tops of my brows. I'm just gonna go in with that same flat foundation brush that I was using for under my brow and just make it look nice and clean it up. And then after that, I used the Benefit Gimme Brow. This is in the shade three. And basically what this does is it's gonna set my hairs. So if I want the ones in the front to stick up more, they'll stick up more in the ones um, in the back to kind of lay down flat. That's what that'll help that for. All right guys, I'm back. So all I did was I just finished my makeup, um, but that's pretty much it for how I do my brows when I do my makeup. Nothing too crazy, mainly like three steps, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have the best brows. They're definitely not even they're probably not even sisters they're more like cousins but um yeah well, the only thing i could say is like just practice and you know your brows more than you know anyone else knows your brows um i would recommend trying to find somebody who you trust um, i get my brows threaded um but if you can find somebody that you trust to do your brows like whether it's waxing plucking um getting them threaded uh and just stick to them and just keep going to them and you know let them know that you know um if you want your brows a certain way so that way they could shape them to the way that you want them over time um i know with my brow lady um i had like a bold spot in my brow for the longest time so she would always leave that alone um and then this brow was always uh there was too much under here that was always taken out and then this one would end up just being like wider in the front than this one so I will talk to her about it and let her know don't take too much because I'm trying to get this brow under here to grow back a little bit more and she would do that um, anytime I ever go to any other brow lady they always always take too much under this brow so I just I don't even bother going to anyone else anymore I just stick to my lady but so far I've been doing a pretty good job at uh, shaving plucking tweezing my brows since before quarantine i got my brows done as i said earlier in the video um and i've been just trying really hard to just keep them as they were when they were fresh freshly done so um but yeah that's pretty much it for this video um make sure that you like this video give it a huge thumbs up if you liked it uh comment down below other videos that you want to see in the future make sure that you're subscribed to my channel please 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 subscribe to my channel um and yeah and that's about it for this video so thank you guys for watching mm -hmm.